Taurus, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, Taurus, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading, where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, first card that came flying out, Five of Pentacles. Right now, your angels are telling you, in order for them to reward you with the desire that you have, the energy that I feel here is financial abundance, you first, first and foremost have to allow. That's all it is. How it works is we always ask, the universe immediately answers, which I'll get to, and then the art of allowing is necessary. Now you may ask yourself, how does the universe answer immediately? Well, when you ask something, it is a desire. When you have a thought and there's a desire, it immediately goes out into the field. Now you can't see these thoughts, so you may think it just, you know, just goes out and it disappears. It doesn't actually. Your eyes literally pick up 1% of the light spectrum or else we'd get overwhelmed. It doesn't pick up gamma, infrared, night vision, or else you would see that. Every time you have a thought, it's a light ray. So so it goes out into the infinite number of realities. Now, what it's trying to do is go do, 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 do. It's searching for a like thought, law of attraction. It quantum entangles with it. Once it quantum entangles with it, now it is waiting for you to allow for it to come in. That's all it is. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to master the art of allowing. So now the financial abundance is going to work its way into your life. This is something that spirit wants from you. And this is what, you know, naturally you are meant to live a happy, healthy, rich, fulfilled life. And this is going to happen. Now look at this. Eight of Pentacles, yes please. Three of Cups, Lover's Card, Seven of Cups. Look at that synchronicity. Page of Cups, loving this. Now you also have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. That is the allowing portion that has to get cleared. Four Pentacles, Four of Cups, another synchronicity of clearing the energy. Now we got the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Star card, loving that. And you also got the Devil, which is really the ego right there, the fear portion that we'll have to clear as well. Now Taurus, check this out. Your affirmation for today is being wealthy is my birthright, so fit for your read. It is your birthright. Yes, it is. Write this down in the comment section. Being wealthy is my birthright because not only is being wealthy your birthright, this is what your, this is what spirit, your angels and guides want for you. They want you to experience stuff, right? Some of it's joyful, some of it's painful, but you are not meant to constantly be in a position where you're trying to, you know, uh, have enough finances to pay off your bills. You're also meant to experience being a millionaire, having enough money to donate to charity if you want. So quantum entangle with this energy, being wealthy is my birthright. Write this down in the comment section, invite money, welcome money, uh, command, assume, expect, let your angels guides and the universe know you are ready right now for wealth being wealthy is my birthright yes it is write that down in the comment section so right now it's like money wealth is definitely here for you this is something that is your birthright and this is something that i see your career your business you know the opportunities your investments buying a house all these things are happening for you when these things happen they happen very synergistically one after another like for example you heard the saying when it rains it pours Throw that out, think of when it shines, it really shines. I see here opportunities involving third parties. The fact that you got the three of cups and you have the three of pentacles, that's a synchronicity. So this is, you know, maybe networking, collaborating. Maybe this is a boss giving you a promotion. Maybe this is you teaming up with someone starting a business. So many different opportunities here for you. Now your angels and guides are also telling you in order for you to not only be attracting wealth into your life, but being with your soulmate is also your birthright. These are things that your angels and guides want you to experience. Remember, they want you to experience joy. They want you to be happy. You're not meant to be suffering and stuff. And right now your angels and guides are telling you that someone that is on a very strong, not only spiritual connection, but romantic connection and potentially financial connection is something is someone that is going to be entering your life now you may tell yourself how am i supposed to find someone that i love romantically that loves me back and all of a sudden we work together this can get done my wife alicia and i we have airbnbs together we have amazon businesses together we have youtube channels together trust me when i tell you 
this is something that is you are meant to have and it's also fun you have stuff to talk about right you come home at the end of the day and you're like whoa we are awesome here's the things we do what do you do what do i do oh okay great let's learn and put this together and create something now your angels and guides are telling you in order for these opportunities several beautiful opportunities to manifest for you remember you have to quantum entangle with this energy this right here there's a no-brainer so for example you know who the boss of the third dimension is? And I'm trying to use lingo and try to make it fun and exciting or relatable. The, the third dimension, the, the person that the third dimension listens to is the fourth dimension, okay? So if you wanna just cut out the middleman, the third dimension, right, where things happen, and go to the boss, and the boss is the one who tells the third dimension what to do. They, again, I'm trying to be funny here. Now, this is the truth though. In order for you to have things go to go smooth sailing here, you first and foremost have to visualize and manifest it in the fourth dimension. That's where quantum entanglement comes in. I'll tell you first and foremost what we can't do. You cannot put pressure on yourself when it comes to the fourth dimension. You can't tell yourself, why is this not happened yet? When is this going to happen? How is this going to happen? The who, what, when, where, how, you never have control over. So for example, you can't, you don't know when, if someone is going to approach you and say, hey, how you doing? You know, I like your energy. I would like to go on a date with you. The time, the place, you never know, right? But what you do have control over is being so magnetic that this manifestation comes to fruition much, much quicker. So you have fully, full control of what happens in the fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is like a painting. Now, the canvas of the fourth dimension, you are holding the paintbrush and you're literally painting your picture. And then in the third dimension, it comes to fruition. So right now, let me, let me make this perfectly clear. All the who, what, when, where, how, throw this right out the window. This is the same energy, all your neighbors, coworkers, family members, everyone's just caught up in this, trying to make it happen. If you notice, everyone's chasing their own tail. Now, one trick that I love to use in the fourth dimension to get what I'm looking for, this is Neville Goddard's technique, he gets the credit, is visualize what you're looking for, but you have to visualize the event as if you are living it. So for example, when you start visualizing, don't visualize you're watching a big screen. Don't visualize like that, right? Visualize yourself if, as if it's you. So for example, imagine I want a promotion at work. I would visualize myself walking in my boss's office and I'm doing this with my eyes closed and you wanna do this in a calm meditative state. So either meditating or just be calm doing this, right? Visualize myself walking into my boss's office, visualize myself giving him a handshake and feeling their hand, feeling how firm it is. Visualize the window open with the smell of the fresh air going in. I'm trying to really get my senses going. I'm doing this all in the first person. So I'm not seeing myself in the third dimension. I'm seeing my boss sitting in front of me. I'm sitting the, seeing the candy on the table, whatever the case is, whatever the gal, the, 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 the people got today in today's world, I have no idea. But visualize sitting there. And then while you're there, visualize them saying, hey, Taurus just wanna let you know that we're giving you this promotion and you deserve this. I'd visualize myself at that point congratulating him, saying thank you very much. And while you're doing this, not in the third first person, but almost like now in the third person, say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you're not thanking the boss, but you're thanking a higher power, thank you, thank you. All of a sudden your energy is gonna get higher, 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 higher vibration. Once you get to that high vibration, repeat this over and over and over again. Visualize that, that same scenario, 10 to 15 second scenario, over and over and over again until that visualization becomes reality in your mind. Now that you have that, you have quantum entangled with it. Now the universe is going to bring situations, people and opportunities to you in order for you to get it. So this is all doable, it's right here for you. This applies to your love life, this applies to your health, this applies to anything you wanna do, it works like a charm. So right now, remember, your angels and guides, you never have to ask them again, am I supposed to be with my soulmate? Am I supposed to be rich? When is this gonna happen? When you say, when is this gonna happen? Their, their, their answer is, we're waiting for you, Taurus. We're literally waiting for you. So use this technique and let's get it. Now look at this, your animal spirit, tell me this isn't fitting. Dove spirit, what's the message? Be peace be peace because everything you're looking for this entire visualization i spoke of was done in a calm neutral state that is the art of allowing right when you are in a calm baseline you're allowing all day so when you're driving and you're just not thinking of anything art of allowing when someone's talking and you're just listening to them you're not thinking of what to say next art of allowing. when you're washing the dishes and you're not thinking of my bills my worries what i should be doing next but you're just literally thinking of nothing you're doing more than you possibly could by doing something all right, now final message from your spirit guides. Love this message. Look at this. Let love be your beacon. This is a beautiful message for you right now. Works like a charm. 
and the message is lead with love. When you enter a new situation, see love paving the way. If it is a tense situation or work environment, do a visualization exercise of filling the space with bright, beautiful love for everyone involved, including yourself. Love is the key that unlocks all the doors to this third dimension. Now, I'm not just saying that because it's cheesy or like cute and cheesy. I'm telling you, imagine, imagine everything you're looking for is in a box, right? Imagine love, you put it in, and love is happiness, joy, and abundance. When you turn the key, it opens and everything comes out. But unless you have that key, it's not gonna open. Love love, learning to love the process and the journey, not the outcome, right? Learning to love, you know, the story and the event of the future as if it's taking place. Loving yourself. Love is always comes in a peace, calm, tranquil state. Whenever we use fear, this is when things get difficult. I'll, be, I'll give an example. You want to buy a house. You use love as a tactic. Man, I can't wait to buy this house. It's going to be so good. My kids are going to be running around. My dog and cat's going to be running around. It's going to be so much fun. Using fear. If I don't buy this house, I'm not gonna be able to buy a house in the future. Boom, right? It's the exact same scenario, different perspectives. Fear makes you feel powerless. Love makes you feel powerful. All right, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.